Joined by Marty Biron. Marty, before the Stanley Cup playoffs began, Evander Kane came right out and said he was in a lot of pain from his sports hernia problems. He's missed a lot of practices, but he battled through it. But now it's so bad, he could hardly ever sit down on the bench during the games. If he's in that much pain, Marty, is it worth having him in the lineup at all? Well, obviously, you got to factor in how much pain can he withstand, right? And play and play effectively. Now, I think that for game two, I would have Evander Kane in the lineup, even if he was at 75%. Look, if he can't play, you go down to 11 forwards. You play your top players more. You have two days off before game three Thursday in Edmonton. So you can play McDavid 22, 23 minutes. Dry side, all the same thing. So I think you dress Evander Kane in the game hoping that maybe he can give you some good shift, maybe everything loosens it up, and he's good to go. But if it doesn't work, you sit him down. If he has to take a penalty and fill in the penalty box, you go and send him in the penalty box. If you have to put him on the power play in front of the net, you put him in the power play in front of the net. But I think Evander Kane at 75% right now is still better than what the orders can put out there. And if he can't go, you play McDavid and Dreisaitl even more minutes. All right, let's talk blue line. Cody Ceci's out, a healthy scratch for the first time in these playoffs. Vinny D'Arnais is in. Chris Knobloch has made all the right moves in the playoffs so far. How much do you think this affects D partner Darnell Nurse, who's a playoff worst minus 15 right now? Well, obviously, I think that CC Nurse is not working. You saw it at the end of the Dallas series, and then they put they get put back together, and it didn't work in game one. Not that it's their fault, right? The Oilers only gave up two goals, but they were on the ice for both of those goals. But I think what you can do now is you can do a couple of things. You can put DRNA with Nurse and see if it works together, or you can bring back Kulak and Nurse and have Broberg with DRNA and play them very limited minutes. Look, again, it's the same argument with Kane as it is with the defense pairing. You can go down to four or five, and you can really play your top guys more knowing that you have two days off and knowing that game two is really important. So I think that Chris Knobloch is looking for physicality, new energy out of DRNA. But if you have to go down to four defense, you go down to four, and you don't just rotate in the back end. You really play the guys that are going to give you the best chance to win. Uh, for the record, the worst playoff plus minus all time, Paul Reinhardt. He finished minus 16. 41 years ago.